Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Freeman with Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute, and today I want to talk to you about shoulder labral injuries. The ball and socket joint of the shoulder is a ball with a shallow socket. It's almost all like the, the socket is the same depth as the palm of my hand. And the ball, in comparison, is about the size of my fist here. Now, if you think about this ball and socket, the socket doesn't look very much like a socket, does it? And in order to help centralize that ball and that socket, it has several structures. The most important structure is the labrum. Now the labrum is kind of like the rubbery cartilage lip that runs around the socket. It acts as a bumper and, and it's kind of visualized like the meatier part of my hand with the socket being the very central part of my palm of my hand. Shoulder labral tears are often caused by shoulder dislocations or subluxations. When that ball rides up onto the front of the socket, it tears the labrum first, it's the most vulnerable. But it doesn't actually have to dislocate or even subluxate to tear the labrum. Now, oftentimes these occur in athletes, anywhere from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Patients will generally have the same set of symptoms whether the, the labral tear occurred because of a shoulder dislocation or just a, a simple injury to the front of the labrum. Let's talk about the symptoms of a shoulder labral tear. Now, patients usually complain of pain deep in the shoulder. They often will say that when they're reaching out or reaching overhead, they have pain. Sometimes they'll say that, that when they get the shoulder up, that they have to sneak it down or bring it in in a certain way to keep it from hurting. Oftentimes it hurts doing exercises. Let's talk about diagnosis of a shoulder labral tear. This starts with a history and physical exam and x-rays. If we suspect a shoulder labral tear, we'll usually get an MRI, and sometimes we'll need an MRI with dye injected into the shoulder joint. We start with non-surgical treatment. This consists of physical therapy to work on strength and range of motion of the shoulder, anti-inflammatory medications, ice, and activity modification. We want to stop the sports activities that are causing the symptoms. Now, if non-surgical treatment fails to heal the labral tear, then we can talk about surgical treatment. The way we do this is with a shoulder scope. That's tiny incisions around the shoulder joint, same day surgery. We go in, look at every part of the shoulder, and everything we see we address. We expect to find a labral tear. We repair the labrum with sutures and anchors. Pain levels are very low after surgery, and the worst part is being in a sling for several weeks. If you think you have a shoulder labral tear or are having shoulder pain, we can help. Just call JOI 2000 or go online at JOI.net and schedule an appointment.